Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, how are you? It's Alex Bennett and it is the Ramble and the Ramble is here until, well, until the uh, uh, cock crows at midnight. Well, the cock doesn't really crow at midnight, does it? Anyway, my cock crows at midnight, how's that? Would that settle it for you? Okay. Anyway, we're going to have a citizen panel a little bit later. But right now, we go out to the other coast and up north on that coast, and we check in with, uh, <clears throat> well, an old lover of mine. I don't know if that's the way she'd put it, but here she is. Ladies and gentlemen, Lake Oswego, Oregon, right? Yeah, well, just call it Portland. 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 Yeah, yeah. But then, then we associate you with, like, all the stuff we saw in Portlandia, and that's not exactly wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the first episode many years ago, and then I stopped. It actually was a very funny show, but it, it, it certainly didn't make your neck of the woods uh, that uh, wonderful. Everybody seemed a little too uh, into, uh, 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 what can we call it, the uh, herbal lifestyle and things like that. Probably you know? not as bad as they made out. Probably not as bad as they made out. So how is everything in the land where you can commit suicide if you want to? Ah, well, it's it's very hot. We're having a hot spell, but you know that's that's everywhere in the world above the equator right now. I had a five hundred dollar uh, electric bill uh, last month because of the from, heat from cooling. Oh yeah, from the air conditioners. I have you know two two air conditioners working at a time here. Uh, I have a um, uh, the one in the bedroom. And then I had the one uh, in here in the studio, which I have to keep on a lot because I got to keep the equipment cool. Right. Yeah. You know? So uh, I'm lucky. I'm on the first floor, so no heat, so no sun beats down on me, and it always cools down to 50s overnight. So I open the windows early, early in the morning and cool down the house. I hardly ever turn on the air conditioner. Wow. wow. I'm pretty lucky. In fact, it's cheaper for me, and it's opposite you. Cheaper for me in the summer than it is in the winter because I have electric heat. Yeah. Anyway, so what is what is new in your life? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, then thank you for calling, and uh, we'll. <laughs> what about your life? My life. Uh, uh, I've been going to uh, th uh, physical therapy. For what? Uh, for my for my numbness in my feet. Oh, what did they say about that? Uh, it's a nerve and a uh, uh, my my spine has uh, arthritis, and then the nerve is being pinched, so. And so, will this fix it? Uh, who knows? You know, uh, huh. we'll, we'll see. I imagine. Mm. You know, mm. I'm hoping. Okay, I wish I had a list of things that happened this week that were interesting but you know what's happened to me in my old age is I go to I go to sleep on Sunday night and I wake up Saturday morning and I don't know what happened in between <laughs> I can't remember what I did each day <laughs> oh wow wow well anyway uh let me see here first of all your health is good right doesn't oh, seem yes. like you have a problem at all right yes and uh um uh, and so your health is, uh, I guess, better than mine now because my feet are numb. Ah, yeah. Well, you know, I just, uh, I, I, I hold that health in, uh, uh, in a precious little place in me, uh, because I never expected it to be. And I'm about back to normal. You know, I, it's, I had a year long bad episode is how I'm beginning to think of it. And now yeah. life goes on as it was before. <laughs> More yeah. or less, almost. More or less, more or less. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what? You know, what? I I will tell you with this physical therapy that I'm doing, I hate it because they give you homework. Well, of course, you should do this stuff every day. Yeah, 
I have to do these these exercises every day. And the 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 guy I had the other day put it the best way I've ever heard it put. He said, "Don't think of this as doing exercises. Think of it as taking medicine. You take a pill every day. You oh. do these every day. You that know." Makes sense. He said, and I that, like that and that will make you better. Mm-hmm. I like that. So far, I can't say that things are incredible, but you know what the hell. Listen yeah. to us, two old people two going old on parts. about their health, well, you know, the thing God's is, sake. The thing is, we came to this point where we could say this, you know. That's true. How, how many, how many true. you know, I mean. Uh, when the big events in your life are all about health, oh, I don't know. You something's know, wrong. You, you know what, um, what Marjorie said, and it's true. Whenever we go out to dinner with a group of older people, uh, in the discussion immediately goes to 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 medicine health uh what you know what's wrong with you How, is it yours your thing getting better you know it it's not like in the old days it was like so who who'd you let who'd you have sex with lately you know uh, i never said that or even was asked that oh, uh, but uh, okay. uh, I well, get among, your point. among guys we would do that but now it's like oh i i've got this thing and whatever I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you know, this morning I got an email that a friend for many years, more than ten years, who I never met in person, an internet friend, uh, had died yesterday. And you know, it, it's not like a, a ten-year-old or even a forty-year-old dying. She was eighty-nine. I mean, what do you expect? Yeah. Um, and. Um. And I wonder if that's also behind our questions when, you know, there used to be a joke when I was younger about when people ask you, how are you? They're not asking for a litany of your health problems, but it turns into that when we get old. And I wonder if that is partially what it's about, that we're checking in to see how we each are, that we're still here, sort of. You know? Yeah, yeah. I think that might be part of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, 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 and the litany of what's wrong is kind of, a recitation of how close we might be to not being here anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, when people say, so how are you, they really don't care. They really How are you means the same thing as hello. Yeah, and how are you. So if you then say, well, my back's been bothering me and this, uh, this uh, pollen is just killing me, uh, they don't care. They really don't want to know. And you know this because? Because I'm willing to tell everybody an update on my <laughs> health at any given moment. It drives my it drives my wife nothing has changed. It, it's it drives my wife nuts. Well, now it's her job and not yours, you know. That's uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Drove me nuts too. But I wasn't I don't know if I was as much of a hypochondriac when I was young. I guess I was. Yeah. Yes, you were. Yeah. Yes, you were. Yeah. Uh but I could never, I, there was a time when I wasn't though. You know when I, I always found that I was hypochondriac when I had nothing, no problems. <laughs> you were looking for something. Yeah. If I was out of work and looking for work and things were terrible and I had to do something about it and blah, 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 and whatever, I didn't even think about my health. And then when everything is fine, it's my health. Alex, you've been remarkably healthy, like me, yeah. all your life. Yeah. No, don't worry. I, what, why do you even, why all those years did you ever, ever even think about it? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, maybe it's a preoccupation with me. And were either of your parents that way? I don't no, remember no, that they were. No, no, not at all. You know. Um Maybe it was something when I was a kid that I don't know. You know, some some place like my mother didn't pay attention to me unless I was sick. <laughs> oh, you know, my mother didn't pay attention yeah, to me. It's yeah. an excuse for everything. And my mother paid too much attention to me. That was the yes, problem. Yes, well, Jewish mothers, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why I'm claustrophobic because she was so smothering. <laughs> oh, I don't know that that's the that's reason. Why that's why. Okay. That's why now I. It's my mother's fault. I can't get into an MRI machine. Okay. <laughs> I've never had to, so I don't know. It doesn't sound pleasant. They never did an MRI on you with all the, the chazerai that was going on in your yep. life? Really? Yep. All kinds of other scans and tests and well, stuff. 
but not that one. Uh, I wasn't going to go to the neurologist because I knew that the first thing the neurologist would say, well, we'll do an MRI. And he didn't. He said, we'll get an X-ray. Mm-hmm. You know, and he could see it in the X-ray. So, yeah. What the hell? I didn't have to go into that coffin. I, no, I refuse to. It has to be like one of these open MRIs. I've, I've already... Is I've, there such a thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's oh, an MRI. You go in, you just sit there, and the thing does what it has to do. There's another one where you kind of lie there, but you're not in a tube. You know, so they do have open MRIs. Because, I, they, because I hope I'm done with those sorts of tests. You well, know? they know no. that the biggest problem with MRIs is that certain people are, in my case, like just amazingly claustrophobic. I call it terminally claustrophobic. Look at this you know? room and this picture that you're in. That you've got two doors behind you. They're both closed. The the computer on your right seems to be very near you, and the shelves with the DVDs are pretty close. And that's okay. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't bother me. No. Okay. That does, no. It, it, I have high ceilings. My ceilings are to almost twelve feet high. Uh, mm-hmm. And that's uh, hard to clean. Cobwebs. And even if they I were lower, I like wouldn't. No it, I only feel claustrophobia <laughs> when I'm closed in. When I'm closed in. So, what do you think about the latest developments with our political system these days? You mean uh, uh, pr- President uh, Trump? Sure, I do. Is there any other topic in politics? Do we have to refer to him as president? Is that is it possible that we? Yes, it's the it's it's not him. It is the office, and you should. Oh, I should turn this off. Uh, uh, ah, isn't that cute on air? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I always turn that on before I do anything, and and this isn't going to match up because we record this earlier in the day, and uh, 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 so when I finally do the show, I'm probably not going to be wearing the same shirt, and mm. I'm not, and the light will have already been on, so so maybe I'll remember to leave it off tonight so it matches when I. Don't worry so. about it. I'll bet nobody really minds. Yeah, um, uh, our president. I've I've gotten to the point. Where I wish I could say I've just absolutely given up on worrying about it. You know, I just, he's, he's an asshole. He is treating the presidency in a way in which he's not respecting the presidency. You know, they say you should respect your president. Well, I don't think he respects the presidency. No, he doesn't. He doesn't even know what it's about. He doesn't know history. He doesn't know politics. He doesn't, he certainly doesn't know foreign affairs. And he's getting us in deep doo-doo, as it, it were. He acts like Willy Wonka just gave him the golden ticket, you know, and that he can do anything he wants to do, you know. He can the just... thing that's making me, there's so many things that terrify me about what's happened since he became president, but the one that keeps eating at me and eating at me and eating at me are the little kids. And now, this week, there's another deadline for matching them up with their parents, and the federal government is saying that there are hundreds that will never be done. I heard them say this morning. Because because the parents have been deported already. Well, this is what I'm getting to. And they said that because so many parents have been deported, um, it's, they're not going to go to those other countries to try to match them up. You're the one who snatched the kids away. It's our responsibility, America's responsibility, to do that, to match up the kids wherever they are. And we're apparently just not going to do it. Hundreds and hundreds of little kids. Wow. Yeah. Who it, we it, snatched yeah. away illegally and will never know who their real parents were. And you know what he said when he was asked about this? <laughs> well, you just shouldn't have done something illegal. When they weren't doing anything illegal, they were seeking asylum, almost all of them. Yeah. That's not illegal. That's yeah. legal in our well, country. Well, it's just he has no sense of... Uh, of, of decency, you know. Yes. I mean, I just it's I, worse I, than that. It goes further than there that. There are some people who truly are worried about his mental capabilities. I don't have any knowledge or experience to be able to say anything about that. Yeah, but um, still, there's a reason to worry. You know, yes. he. I mean, he acts in On irra- many levels. in in irrational ways. Uh, and and it's 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 pretty terrible actually the way he reacts, you know. So I mean, uh, it, it it it's 
It's embarrassing. It is just so very embarrassing. It's funny, I said with a friend the other day on the phone that I'm so glad I don't, I'm not traveling in Europe as I used to do so often for work because I'm really ashamed to, you know, hold up and say, oh, I'm an American, you know. Um, what, what we've done here on, on in so many different ways, different occasions, it, it is so embarrassing. I don't know how much of it is illegal. Here's something I don't get. It has to do with the new Supreme Court nominee, but other things in general, mm -hmm. is that a president, remember when Nixon said, if a president does it, it's not illegal, I mean, which is just outrageous. Mm -hmm. But they're carrying it to this president by saying whatever goes on with the Mueller uh, investigation and the Southern District of New York and whatever other investigations are going on, whatever they find that might or might not be legal in terms of Trump's behavior is okay. Nothing will be done because he's a sitting president. I, isn't that why we have a vice president? What, not talking about whether you like this one or not, but isn't the whole point is that when the president can no longer fulfill his duties, that's why we've got a backup over here in the corner. Yeah. And and why should he not be prosecuted for the same kind of crimes and you or me or anybody else would be prosecuted for? Well, uh, uh, unfortunately, he can't be. But he there is a there is a method to being able to do it, and it's called impeachment. There's a difference. Uh, the president can't be indicted while he's in office. But Who he, says? Is that in the Constitution? It's somewhere, I don't know, somewhere, either that or the Supreme Court deemed it as so or whatever. But that doesn't matter. We still have the means to be able to deal with him. If he, if he went and shot somebody, we could not indict him for killing that person, but we could impeach him for killing that person. That's wrong. I'm, I'm saying that. I'm not quoting well, anybody. You know, once he, that to what, me is on its face wrong. Once he's out Why of, is he different from you well, or one, me in that respect? Once he's out of office, all bets are off. No, but then aren't there statutes of limitation then? Uh, there are all kinds of crimes that if too much time goes by, you can't prosecute people. Listen, I will go out and get a law degree and get back to you on that. <laughs> I will hold my breath. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. I'll just get a, a law degree and, and figure that one out. Um, <laughs> you know what I saw today? This was amazing. Uh, he, you know, he still, most, pre most people when they become president, put their things in a blind trust so that while oh, they're yeah. in well, office, oh, they don't, they, go there? They don't oh. deal with their business. He hasn't, okay? Mm -hmm. So he's still making ties, shirts, jackets. He's still making vodka. He's still making any number of products, all of which and none of which are made in the USA. No. They're made in China. They're made in Ethiopia. Uh, we, we, they were looking at uh, uh, his daughter's company. She's, she, when China, the conditions in China were bad, she she moved to Ethiopia with her stuff, but they don't make it here in the U.S. They're not no. giving Americans jobs, turning out their products. She's also exempt from tariffs of her products when they're brought back to this country. Why is that? They were special. I read that they were specially exempt from his new tariffs. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we live today. I mean, he looks at the at being president as as his own, what can we call it, his own personal treasury. Yes. You know. Yes. Uh, I mean, like, I how much money do we spend so every weekend he can go play golf? You know, another thing just came up just before we started this interview on on whatever was on television before this we started this. Um, that there's that that you just mentioned and I can't remember the other one it just went out of my head forget it oh god it's wonderful to be old yeah yeah <laughs> what happens is you you have to go back to the very beginning of the uh, uh, and and uh, then bring yourself up to the moment and then you remember <laughs> what it was as soon as with we me, hang up it with will come me to I you. have to start with so I was born 
And eventually, after about an hour, we come back. And I, oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Conversations between two old people are just impossible. I think I told you this last time that I went to the... Did I tell you when I went to the neurologist, he asked me a bunch of questions? And no, you didn't tell no, me this. Oh, and what, uh, uh, he said, what do you do for a living? I said, well, I'm, I'm kind of retired, but I'm doing a podcast talk show. He says, on what? I said, politics. And he said, where... You know, so then he asked you who the president well, is? No, <laughs> so, no, so he asked me, do you, okay, do you, so he had some questions he wanted to see, is he my cognition or whatever? Yes. And he said, who's the president? And I said, Donald Trump, unfortunately. He said, who's the governor of the state of New York? And you'd, oh. And he said, okay, who's the mayor of New York City? Are you serious? Yeah. Where is your brain? Did you forget or you just don't pay attention to that part of politics? I, I, apparently, I don't pay that much attention to that part of politics because when I do a sh show at night, I'm playing to a national audience. So we talk about national stuff. I don't talk uh -huh. about what's going on in New York. Right. And so I couldn't immediately come up with Cuomo and de Blasio, which I can do right now. Uh -huh. uh, and it made it into my medical record. He could not remember ah, that's right. who the governor <laughs> and and the mayor was of New York. Did he ask you what year it is? Well, yeah, he asked me where I lived and, you know, things like that. What day were you born? Blah, blah, blah. What does this have to do with your feet? Uh, it, I Somehow I talked to my friend Shecky, who was also seeing a neurologist, about an entirely different situation. And he said, oh, he gave me the same test. He said, but he never asked me about the governor of the state or the mayor of New York but City. But I don't understand what, was this just generally checking your cognition? Yeah. Or was it related to your feet? No, it was, I guess it, it has something to do with the nervous system because another neurologist asked another friend the same questions. So, oh, jeez. You know, so I imagine, you know. So uh, so, they, so, so the thing with, with physicians, I guess, now is that after you've passed a certain birthday they assume you might be afflicted with cognition problems i have cognition problems but it's funny that i as i say you know they they always say you can always remember the latest stuff or the older stuff but older the stuff, stuff that just happened you can't and you know i mean uh I'll, I'll sit there and there's some movie on from 1930 and i can tell you who the actress is Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but um, but I have to tell you about that. I, I in fact, in fact, in fact, the other day I was talking to I th maybe I was talking in the air. I was talking to Shecky, somebody, about when I was a kid. One of the most tragic things I remember was a story about a little girl stuck in a well. Mm -hmm. And now I, I can't. Remember that story and now too. I can't, now I can't remember her name. But I came up with that name immediately. I was just going to say that recently, incidents from my childhood, and by that it's apparent, it seems to have been more than nine or ten years old, but not quite an adult yet, yeah. have come back to me more vividly than in the past. Not yeah. very often, occasionally, but things I haven't thought of in decades even have come yeah. back. And before I used to question that thing about old people more easily remember older events the newer events and like i said when we first started talking my day-to-day -day memory has gotten to the point where i go to bed on sunday night and i wake up saturday morning as far as i know about what happened in between <laughs> yeah, i was just looking up to see if i could find the name of that uh, that girl and we'll live and, without and, the name right well, now well all they, they came up with was uh uh, Jessica, Jessica McClure, who was the latest kid to be stuck no, in the No, 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 no. There's one way back when we I were I know, I know. And I had the name. I had the name. The name just came off the top of my head. Yeah, and good that, for you. Yeah. I, I think that that was the of first course, one I'm was covered cause I can't, live by television. Now I'm worried because I, uh, I can't remember it. Don't so, worry about it. I mean, uh, you, do you really need to know? Yeah. I don't worry if I don't need to know. I guess. I guess. Yeah. But it's early. Maybe I'll, rem I'll, probably, I'll probably call you back around 4 o'clock this afternoon and go, oh, it was blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I have well, the name just like that. Well, I don't know how much like anybody's going to like all this health talk, but... Um. Well, listen, I, when people call my show now, uh, 
I, I call it Alex's waiting room uh, because they all have medical problems. Every last one. Of them. <laughs> but you're not a doctor. I, they, I have an old. I have old ones. Uh, one's got. Uh, let's see here. He had uh, his prostate removed, and now he's got heart problems. So he's got to get angioplasty and a whole bunch of stuff like that. Uh, I got another one who maybe is going to lose his foot. Uh, I and then my, the youngest one is in a wheelchair. What is youngest? What year is that? Forty-two. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it's like every one of them has a problem, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I I keep talking about how my health, blah 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 blah, and then I thought about it and I said, I'm better than any of these people. You, you mean know, healthy? Healthier. Better. I'm not better okay. than they're. They're a wonderful group of people. Excuse me if I insulted you. Uh, but, um, you know, so go right ahead. You can talk health. People are used to that on this show, people griping about their health. and you know. It's, I'm not anymore. I'm amazed I'm quite healthy now again. It was a really, really rough year. I never, nobody should go through anything like that. But it's just amazing how good I feel and I'm back to you know there are some residual things in terms of a couple of even the medications have dropped way down the number I saw a couple that I'll have to take for the rest of my life but beyond that I don't feel very much different be than before this all happened to me and I am so grateful so grateful yeah you're a little scarred up from the operations and things like but that but it's not on anywhere where anybody can see it right Right. I have a very strange looking belly button these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they cut right down the middle, clear to the belly button. And, yeah, um, yeah. So how's it strange? It's neither an innie well, or an Well, it used to be just a nice, neat, round, innie belly button. Yeah. Now it's just a knot. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk about something you'll never need again. You know, yes, I, I exactly. never wondered why the navel just didn't heal up completely. I mean, we had no use for it once we were born. <laughs> but it was such a nice, neat one, and it just sat there, didn't do, like, as you yeah. say, doesn't do anything, and it was nice and neat, nothing nothing you would notice about it. Now it's noticeably kind of off kilter. It's like God said to himself, well, I'll feed the kid and everything nourishment through the belly button, and when they, he uh, is born... Uh, the uh, the umbilical cord will either fall off or we learned how to cut it, and uh, then he will have a, he'll have a navel. And I, he never God never figured out a way to make the navel disappear. It was like well, I don't it, think it, it, it was like to. it was like the inlet in a balloon. Don't you, know? you think if you were at the beach and everybody was walking around with perfectly flat space there, nobody had a belly button, that wouldn't look a little weird. Well, it wouldn't look weird because we'd accept it. Um, okay. Yeah, you know, just my, me and my terminal logic. Hey, listen, we've run out of time here. Okay. I could go on with this for hours. I really could. It, it, I'm not so sure the audience could stand it. Oh, I think they can take it. They better take it. Fuck them if they don't <laughs> like it, you know. Anyway, uh, that, right. that, ladies and gentlemen, is time well spent with my ex-wife. The inimitable Ronnie Bennett, who can be found at timegoesby.net, where she does Good some memory. spiffy writing. Well, I, I remember that. I'm yes. still trying to remember the name of the baby in the well. And I the other day, I had it like that. <laughs> and gone. That's and part of gone. Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. You know, I, I, you know, years ago, if you had told me that in my later years I would enjoy every two weeks talking to my ex-wife, I would have told you you were nuts. But, you know, it's true, and I enjoy it, and uh, I hope you do too. Uh, anyway, it is, uh, it's time, hold on a second, oh my, my back, I have a backache, and it's not, it's not a kidney stone, because I had a kidney stone, and it, do, it doesn't go away, but this thing, I have to have a pillow in back of me, and I don't know, I, I yanked it, or something, I did something to it, and, uh, uh, it's not good, okay, uh, but I'll survive it, and, um, uh, I'll uh, 
uh, we'll go, uh, you know, um, uh, I'll try and... Uh, it went away for several days, and then it came back. And you know why? I went and worked out today. You know, this whole thing about working out uh, is a highly overrated. This is not, no, this is not, uh, this is not a kidney stone pain. Kidney stone pain, if I were to just do this, and now when I sit in a certain way, it doesn't hurt. Back doesn't hurt. But when I, the kidney pain uh, never goes away. Uh, that just keeps going. You know, no matter which way you sit, no matter which way you lie. And my biggest problem here is I'm having, I'm, I'm doing physical therapy. By the way, the lines are open. I don't care. I'm talking about my health again. Uh, um, my, uh, my, um, I'm doing the physical therapy, so they're giving me things to do, you know, homework. He put it the best way he put it was it's like uh, taking medicine every day. You have to take it so many times a day, and uh, this will will get rid of the numbness in your feet and will take care of that whole spine thing. Um, and, but I don't know that it, they tell me to put a, a pillow in the back of me and things like that, and I, I just don't know if any of these things aren't causing uh, my, my back pain. Oh, look who's here. There he is. Uh, there's... Uh, there's uh, uh, Phil. What's your name again? Phil Meyer. Um, I'm ready for my uh, diagnosis, Dr. Bennett. Yeah, well, anyway, so I got this back pain. It's just, you ever get a bad pat back pain? Oh, uh, yeah, on a regular basis. Yeah, and what happens is uh, it went away for a couple of days. I didn't have any problem with it. And then all of a sudden, uh, today, it started hitting me hard right after I worked out. So well, apparently being on that bike hunched over or whatever... Uh, causes this thing so i'm not going to work out for about four or five days well you know. uh, have you ever considered that maybe you're just a pain in the ass that could be that could be <laughs> you know no but i mean it's not that it's not like the kidney stone because I, I if i were sitting here like this and I've, it doesn't hurt now because i'm lying in a certain way uh i would not have a problem so you know oh well, look who's calling john perulis is calling finally decided to call us after all this time uh, hello, John. How are you? Hey. Hi, everybody. Hi, Phil. Hey, Phil John. and I got together on Saturday all day. We spent from noon to midnight, 12 yeah. hours. Well, my, oh, yeah. my sympathies to you, John. And, uh, <laughs> you know, had a great time. I yeah. got to say one thing. John's not only the real deal when it comes to video, but he's a gentleman. And uh, it was a real oh, pleasure okay. to meet him. I'm not the real deal when it comes to video. Uh, I, you haven't seen, yeah, you know, I mean, you got uh, some how, how long, competition. How long have I been shooting video? Uh, ever well, since as you, long ever, as video has been around. Ever since you knew me. Yeah. And before that, I was shooting film. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I'm, there's no, there's no disparaging your video uh, expertise, Dr. Bennett. If you go back, just, if you ever have a chance, go back and look at Midnight Blue. Some of the stuff I did there was brilliant. Well, I, I actually, uh, you gave me uh, some Midnight Blue, uh, you recorded some VHS for me. Yeah. Uh, the, one was the scene where the gal did 100 guys, uh, oh, the sperm well, well, that, that, that wasn't the That wasn't the epitome of my art. Well, uh, and I, I think Susan was uh, uh, a commentator on yeah, that. She was a commentator on that. Yeah. 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 But that was not my. That was that was that was more documentary work. But there was stuff I did that was positively hey, brilliant. I I, I got to give a shout out to Phil. Uh, I mean, he's also a gentleman, and Thanks. an amazing. I mean, the guy just had a hard on. Do you want to just blow each other here right now? <laughs> hello, hello, now, Scott. He, How are Alex, you, Alex? You're not gonna. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna have a Dutch Masters he, cigar. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah, Dutch Masters. <laughs> he jumps up on the post that's like 20 feet off the ground, and it's only a one by one foot platform. And our Phil is standing on that, shooting down into the cage as fighters are fighting. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm I'm thinking, man, this guy he's he's built like a truck. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I my my what I would be praying is is that Phil would fall in. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. He got in. I got him into the cage. He really? was oh, yeah. in there with all the blood all over the. Hey, you know, yeah. Phil, my uh, one of my computers was splattered with blood, and yeah. this mouse that uh, I'm holding up right here, it still mm -hmm. has uh, blood on it. 
Yeah, you know? th- this is uh, one of the shots. Hi, Jeff. They're uh, talking about uh, what they did this weekend, and yeah. I think they're engaged. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of the shots. Mm. But uh, yeah, yeah, I had a great time. Seeing. Yeah, I had a great time. You know, there's a, there's a lot of it's, it was a lot of action. Uh, everybody was very nice. Uh, I you know it's it was very interesting subject to shoot mm-hmm. and uh you know i was uh, very thankful to john that uh, he invited me yeah hey you got some great shots too i'm telling you you know just yeah. amazing shots he, he showed me a few of them but yeah. i had to work so i'm like concentrated like a race car driver from from noon to midnight you know yeah. it's a long call really yeah. beats you up yeah yeah he has uh, quite a setup uh, uh, a couple of really hard charging uh, videographers up on posts with their uh, with the cameras, uh, commentators to deal with, uh, a live feed uh, going out, and uh, he he had it, you know, he handled it like a he's a real pro. Thanks. Yeah. Are we are we finished with that now? <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, uh, you know what we could do on the next one, Alex, is have uh, Alex Bennett, a Gabnet T-shirt, you know, and that could go out live to all these uh, v- uh, tens of thousands of viewers who see these things on pay-per-view. Why, the why? Gabnet store has been closed for years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so uh, I'm sitting here with a backache, so I can't, but if I move too much, it just, it's really hurts hard i think i pulled it again working out today is what Uh, i did i was getting better you know what i'm talking about jeff yeah Yeah. it's like right up in here it's not a kidney because kidney if it doesn't hurt right now kidney would still hurt Uh, oh yeah yeah. okay can i talk about back pain and something that really pisses me off I mean, because that's what we do. I on think this just show, back right? pain in itself pain, pisses you what off. Pisses us off. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking on the internet. You know, I have some lower back pain mm-hmm. once in a while. You know, mm-hmm. and so there's this beautiful lady. She gets on Facebook and she says, "I'm going to show you a simple exercise you could do that will relieve your back pain." So I went for it. I I clicked it. You know, and then it takes you to one of those sites where she has about a hundred slides. And you got to wade through each little thing mm-hmm. before you get to the money. Come on, babe. I just give me your damn exercise to ease my back. So they're yeah, all like I that. Those hate things. those kind of things. They just drive me up the wall. Yeah. I think if I'm ever going to do that, I'm going to say, "Look, I'm not going to drag you through a hundred slides before, you know, I hook you on my product." Here it is, right now. I'm giving it away because it's good for humanity. Well, you know. I, I had this back. Yeah. I had this back pain, and it went away. Haven't felt it in several days. And then today, I went and worked out, and afterwards, it suddenly hit me, you know. And I, uh, so I'm. I, I think I've got to be careful about working out. Is there a sauna or anything in this gym? No. Mm. No. So no, no steam bath. Well, no we're, sauna. we're lucky there are showers there. <laughs> <laughs> It's fifteen you know, bucks. You don't, you, it's, it's New York City, man. You don't want to go in a public shower. It's, it's, it's fifteen. Your, it's fifteen. You know, the, the, risk. Pe- the people that belong there pay fifteen dollars a it's month. Fifteen uh, bucks. It's, 15, not, it's not open to the public. It's fifteen <laughs> bucks a month, and I didn't use it for years. And I finally started using it, and now I'm making up for all the lost time, you know. But it's like. It's fifteen dollars a month, so I go there. I you get get on the cycle, and I do a couple of their implements of torture. Then I leave, and I have a backache, you know. But also, I'm doing all these stretching exercises and so on that my physical therapist told me to do, and that seems to maybe be exacerbating it. I don't know. I'm going to see him on Thursday, so we'll see what yeah. happens. Ask you know. him uh, what can the chiropractor do for you? No, actually, <laughs> actually this place has chiropractors. Yeah. And they said, well, you know, we could send you the chiropractor. I said, do they take uh, Medicare? I said, no. I said, okay, well then forget that. Mm-hmm. And they said, well, you don't really need to. A chiropractor will do exactly what we're doing, except that we're asking don't you fix to- fix it. No, no, the difference <laughs> is no, the, he, physical therapists go through a great deal of, t- of, of uh, schooling. You realize that, don't you? 
Did they do any manipulation on your oh, back? Oh, yeah. No, they do a lot of that stuff, but a lot of it also is dependent on me as well. And they said, a chiropractor, you just lie there, and the chiropractor does whatever they're going to do. You oh, know. that's tough, huh? Well, <laughs> you know, they said, we, but, you he know. He has his way with you. We, we, we can take care of it, you know, or we can have one of the chiropractors here do some stuff for you, too, you know. And I said, if we don't have to, then let's not. And they said, it's not, you know, it's not really important that we can, you know, we can handle it. So uh, right, we'll you're see. Handling really well. We'll see. Uh, so far, my feet are still numb, and uh, you know, the next thing, probably, if this doesn't work, will probably be to go and have some kind of surgery on my spine to get no, no, to take, no, no, no. To take care of that nerve, and then I'll be like have, Patrick. You wait know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You'd rather have surgery than have some guy just crack your back and and fix it. You would rather have surgery. You know, it, it, it amazes but, me. No, but, that, but necessarily cracking my back isn't going to solve the problem. <laughs> Don't yeah. you understand? No. Well, yeah. you know. well uh, and, and if it did? What? Cracking your back. If it did solve the problem. If it did free up that well, vertebrae. Well, I will try that down. if this physical therapy doesn't work. I'll go hit a, hit a, hit a chiropractor up and see what the story is. You Don't know? hit him too hard. You know. <laughs> you know. But uh, I, got, I, got a, I got a call from my, my neurologist today. Hi, Patrick. Um, uh, I got a call from my neurologist's office today. It seems that the date that I have set in uh, September to see him, uh, he can't mm -hmm. make it because he's going to be out that day. Uh, can we move it to another day? And I'm thinking, like, sure, let's move it to another day. And while we're doing that, um, I'll send you a bill for changing the day, you know, because I require a three-month uh, uh, notification beforehand. Uh, you otherwise, have that in writing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right. So, you know. Anyway, so I changed my thing to, to a Friday, you know. So, you know, I, I, I'm going to have a harder time going to work out just simply because I've got, I, twice a week I'm going to the physical therapist now, you know. And then I've got, like, interviews to do here, and before you know it, i got no time to go to the gym. So I'm thinking of just not going to the gym for about a week. When you go to the physical therapy, they're not giving you a workout? Well, you didn't join us early enough, Patrick, but my back is killing me. I pulled something yeah, in my back. I, I'm but, just making the face for the excuse for not going to the gym. What, because my back's killing me and I don't want to exacerbate it? No, you, you said between the... Uh, well, also... An interview. Believe me, you'd be able to find forty-five minutes out of your day there. Oh yeah. To, oh yeah. Oh yeah. But you know, as I sat there pedaling to nowhere today for another twenty-five minutes, I began to wonder why the fuck am I doing this? And then when I left after doing a couple of th different things, my back started to really bother me. It got really bad, and I went, "Is something I'm doing wrong here?" You know, uh, haven't you ever heard of the saying at the gym, no pain, no gain? Yeah, but this isn't the kind of pain they're talking about. They're talking about a burn, for instance. You yeah. know, well, you feel the burn. You hear all those weightlifters talking about oh, you no. feel the burn. No, but I, I feel no, I feel like today I was doing my legs on a machine and uh, about the last 10 reps, I uh, started to burn. And I pushed well, through it. That's the way it yeah. works. Yeah, that's the way it works. In other words, uh, they want you to. Hold it's called lactic acid, and yeah, and yeah. that's what you develop when you when you exercise the muscle. Yeah, and that yeah. lactic acid feels like a burn. That's Even what, Scott agrees with that's me. That's why my penis used to that's hurt right. all the time. Yeah, is that why my penis used to hurt all the time? Uh, getting lactic acid build up of lactic <laughs> acid. If it's out of shape in, in my penis. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, guys, I got a real problem. Uh, I I don't know. All of you have Skype. Yeah. And I'm sure those of you who haven't upgraded your Skype at all have gotten a notice saying, we were going to discontinue this version of Skype in the near future. Well, that near future is September 1st, I found out. Well, wow. I didn't get a notice. I didn't I'm, either. It'd be on your, I'm it, on a Mac. It, it, yeah. oh, it'll, oh, it'll be a, it'll be on your machine. After September 1st, supposedly the current version that you're using and the one that I use here is not going to work. 
So I downloaded the new version, and I, I it, somehow on my PC it loads side by side with the with the old version. So I, I'm using the old version right now, but I put in the new version, and then I tried to run it in OBS, which is the the switcher I use to yeah. to do all the magic that we do here on this show for the video. And uh, there is a thing that when you put in the I put in the panel, I go to something. And they say, well, what do you want in that screen? And I put in, it says Skype, and I put in Skype because it says, what window do you want? And I say Skype. And in the new system, nothing happens. Zero. Zilch. Wow. Huh. So I went over and I installed it on my Mac. Mm -hmm. And when I do it there, I get a picture. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that far, I'm okay. The but, end of being PC on huh? this show. The end of being PC on this show. Yeah, well, no, it, it, <laughs> it, it, uh, you know, uh, I, I got on uh, the OBS uh, forum and I asked uh, what, you know, what's the story with this? And somebody said it's just that, uh, you know, it's a, different, it's a different system. And I said, well, it works on the Mac, but it doesn't work on the PC. So then I went looking around. One of the things I went looking for is, is there something else besides Skype? Forget it. There's nothing else that would do exactly what we want it to do, right? Make it as easy for you guys to call and be free and all of that. All right. So then I decided maybe I just got to get away from OBS, and I went and I uh, had this thing installed on my machine that I had never checked out called XSplit. Oh, yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. And so I, it said for a year, I, you know, it's fifty nine ninety five. Do you want to buy it for a year? And it's, and I said, sure. And then it went, you know, it automatically will renew. And I cut a, shut off their automatic renewal thing so that when the year comes, they come and ask me rather than just take my money if I don't like it. But I put mm -hmm. in the X split and actually it works pretty well, you know. Uh, for the most part, it works okay. It works uh, well enough. However, uh, it's, it doesn't do it either. But I asked them before I bought it, are, is it going to be, are you going to be able to do it? And they say, we're working on it right now to get a thing going so that you can run Skype, the new Skype, within our system. So I said, I'll take that on its faith and hope you come up with it. And so... Uh, September 1st, we're either going to have a shitty looking, we're going to have a shitty looking show anyway, because this new Skype just sucks. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's bloated and it's ugly and it's, it, it doesn't, it, it, you, you have it, right, Patrick? You use it. It, yep. it, it kind of, it just isn't as simple and simplified as the current uh, Skype. No, it, it, I mean, it, it worked very well if there are just four people and you, because right now I've got the four quadrants and me up in the right corner and you're right next to me in a little circle. Yeah. And I can see everything. And then like I told you, there's yeah. one more circle that I can come after where I can see the person. Yeah. And after that, it's just a number. Yeah, but then no, you, if you want me to go down into the bottom screen, you just drag it down. Is that what it is? And one of the yeah. other people pops yeah. up to the top? Right. Yeah. 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 That's so going to be great. Number circle, you yeah. can't, it, then you have to play almost like round robin to try to figure out who you want where. So. Yeah. yeah it's, it's John's where, got his hand up. Yeah, uh, hold on a second, John. I just want to know where Skype got the idea that this was a good thing to do. You know, that in any way this made any kind of decent sense. Except it's geek syndrome. Well, the trouble is the designers don't say, hey, why don't we go to the people who use it and ask them what they need? You know? I mean, give me an option. They give me an option of using the dark mode or the light mode. Give me an option of going Skype Classic or Skype New. You know? Didn't uh, they? Huh? No. Uh, I thought yeah. last time they tried this thing with the circles, they had that option. Well, they, they didn't do away with the old sky. But here, huh. they're going to just kill it. Supposedly, September 1st, if I try to use this, it won't come up. 
okay? Or I'll get a notification saying this uh, uh, Skype has been discontinued. Hmm. And they dis they've discontinued other versions of Skype, you know. Uh, and I just, you know, uh, it, it just really bothers me because, I mean, this is, this is the show that I do, and this is the way in which I do this show, and I like the way it looks. It's taken me a long time to get it looking this good, you know. I don't do it on the Mac because the Mac has some kind of weird way of putting the Skype windows in there, uh, hmm. and I, I, I don't like that. So anyway, it's, you know. Uh, so, so after September 1st, we may not have a show anymore. We may go back to just audio only. You know. Alex? Yeah. Have you have you tried Google Groups? I, I did a... Sucks! <laughs> Sucks! He, he's, Suck. been, it, he's been like anti-Google. Yes, he's no, no, it it's not that I'm anti-Google. I use YouTube. This show goes out over no, no, YouTube. No, 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 no. If what I, I meant was uh, if, Google Groups. If I could use Google Groups, I would. But the fact is that Google Groups, I have to invite all of you people. Actually, we tried that ah, once uh, yeah. on a Saturday. Uh, I, 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 you had uh, a little experiment. Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't so good. It wasn't so good, and the sound was terrible. Yeah. The sound was mm -hmm. horrible. I hear they've improved the sound. Uh, but, I mean, Google Groups isn't like I say, okay, go over to Google Groups. I'm uh, GabNet, and you go to GabNet. And then uh, you call in. No, it's not that easy. You know, and uh, it, it's not as simple as this is. Okay, mm. uh, and and so therefore it doesn't it doesn't serve me right. I mean, I would love to use Google Groups. I would love it if it because it would probably work better with YouTube because it's a Google product. You know. Uh, and I, I would love to use it as the way in which we do this, but I, I, I just, as I say, you and I tried it. In fact, I'm going to try. I'm going to call upon you, Phil, and maybe a couple other people later, maybe next weekend or next Monday, to do something with me so I can just test some stuff out here. Sure. Uh, um, actually, I, I like the way, in fact, that the XSplit renders this program, and the and the group better uh however there are certain things i'm not i, I don't want to take a chance on it yet you know because i haven't fully learned how to use it so you'll spend 60 bucks on xsplit but you won't go to the chiropractor because it's not covered by insurance <laughs> and he's probably 65 bucks yeah but for one visit this is for a whole year okay oh <laughs> But you might only need one visit. Yeah, but uh, you know, I mean, uh, it 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 it, uh, it it even if we do get it working, you know, uh, yeah. that's my biggest uh, need. Once we're there, we're gonna have to deal with this whole new way of dealing with the with the uh, with the people talking. I, you know, if if should. if let's say uh, Patrick was a circle. And all of a sudden, he started talking, and all of a sudden, he came into the frame because he was talking. Yeah. Then that would that would make it that would make it actually better than this, okay? But uh, the fact that I have to move him down, and then when there are like five people, it says five. And how do you know who? How do you know who's in that five circle, Patrick? Patrick said that the names are listed. No, it, it, no. it's just a number. Oh. And what you got to do is, like I said, there, two, there, there will be three circles at the top, two of which show a photo, one is just a number. So what you do then is you take one of the circles with the photo and you move that person down into the uh, square and you keep doing that. And then the people in the numbered circle, they move over. It, it Round robin is what it is. And then... Mm -hmm. You know, like for me, I don't screw around with it because I know just about everybody's voices, and so I don't need to see. You know, if somebody's in the circle with the number, it's not a big. You know, unless, like I said last week, somebody's showing something and Alex is saying, "Everybody, look at this." Well, let's say it was Renee. Then I got to sit for a couple of minutes while you guys are looking at it, and I got to drag everybody around until I can get to Renee. Oh, so I've got to do this on the air. While people right, like, right, and it for me it it's less of a hassle because 
I'm not showing everybody. You're not seeing it, but you would have to do what I'm describing on the air. So, you know, yeah, it's a big pain in the ass. See, for hey, people, uh, for I just checked out alternatives to Skype on um, this thing called Viber. Yes, I up. checked that out. That it, sucks, too. Oh, it does. What yeah. about WhatsApp? Uh, you don't want to even touch that. And oh, Uvu? Yeah, I checked oh, oh. check that out. They want money. In WeChat. WeChat, I have no idea about WeChat. I didn't look at that. Don't worry, I've checked all of them. I, yeah. I've checked all of them, and they either they either pay or uh, when you sign up, it like kind of wants information that's kind of hinky, you uh, know. Uh, and and uh, I want some safe place. I mean, a Google Groups would be this be the solution if it worked. If they had it in a way. That it made it easy for you guys to call. You know, you just go to my GabNet Google group, and uh, you uh, you jump in or ask to be jumped in. But I have to literally reach out to you, I think, with Google groups, and I create the really? group. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Uh, I think that uh, something gets posted that says uh, there's going to be a, gro a Google something or other, and uh, you just you, you you get on. Uh, I don't think it's that hard. Well, you know, we might. Why don't you check it out? Why don't you figure it out for me, Phil? I'm getting. Hey, Phil. Phil, call me on Google Group, and not, we could. Okay. You could play yeah, with I, it, and then I we can't can... figure out how to get the mute off my board, uh, let alone. That. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's got little problems like that, you know. But I, it just, you know, it irritates the hell out of me, and I do love this XSplit. Uh, it, it, there are a few problems with it, but the, as a product, it's pretty solid. Um, uh, it allowed me to, uh, uh, to mask the um, screen with the Skype beautifully, yeah. and then to play stuff in other parts of the screen. It was, it's much, very nice, looks, looks great. Uh, there are a couple of switching problems that I don't like, and uh, starting it and st uh, st starting the re broadcast uh, it takes a little bit of doing because you have to go to a drop down to do it. So, uh, so if you use that, oh, you're not going to. Uh, Jack wouldn't do video, so he doesn't really have to worry about it. No, Jack doesn't have to worry about. It. Yes, Scott. Okay, now now this is going to sound weird, but I'm just going to try to explain explain it as best I can. Because when I when I look at your uh, um, on the web or on the uh, on on uh, Safari, yeah. when I look at your group panel and everything like right. that, there's there's a picture that pops up on the screen that shows what's actively going on in Skype. Okay, mm -hmm. and and you and have the new Skype? No, I, well, yeah, I got the new Skype with the circles like like Patrick, All but right. when mm -hmm. somebody else talks. The, the little picture goes to the active person. Like if, if Patrick all right, would say all right. something, uh, I, I have that show up. I, I have that okay. with the old Skype. Where, okay. where, where right now I have a picture at the bottom of the screen with you in it because you're talking. Now, if I do this on the Mac, I can, I can capture that little screen. And I did do it when I, we used to do it from the Mac to where when somebody was talking, all of a sudden they would be seen. And I like it, that feature. That's why doing it on the Mac, it'll still, I think, go for the screen capture. It, 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 brings, up, it brings up whoever's talking onto the little screen. And then as long as I, I, go, I can go back to... Now you're using the new Skype. Yes, as best I know. Well, wait a minute. What, what's the version number on it? Uh, it's, it's, it's something with circles. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's. If it's uh, eight, it you're up. fine. That's the new one. If, if I not. I got eight. I, I'm on, on a Mac. Mm -hmm. Eight twenty five. Oh, oh, you're on a Mac. I'm on a Mac. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm Just still like Pat, running. Patrick's I'm on a still, Mac. I'm still running 7.59. On the Mac? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm on eight twenty five oh. There's an update. I haven't done it. I'm on the latest version of Skype. Well, wait a minute. I'll, the Mac. I'll tell you what my Skype is. Although I got started up here. Uh, oh no, that's no. I have the newest. I have the newest version. I have the. Uh, uh, 
on this machine on the Mac I have the new the new the new Skype or as I like to think of it the new Coke of communications devices uh, wait a minute hold on a second does it come with a plastic straw huh uh, plastic, well, they're, uh, they're talking about plastic straws and how the city of San Francisco has outlawed them now, and I think Seattle has outlawed them. Uh, and, uh, I think we're I heard, going back to paper. Uh, okay, so. okay. Yours is 8.25, is it? Yeah. 8.25, 0.5. Yep, that's it. That's it. So you've got the new one. So that's how you get, uh, how you get uh, people, I guess, uh, on Skype. Yeah. If if that screen capture works, I like this. The basic Skype capture does work on the Mac when I use OBS. It, I also have a thing that's screen capture. If that thing will work, then that's great because then I can just sit there and let everybody pop up when they're talking. Yeah, uh, and that will be fine. You know, uh, that might. I, I don't know. I, yeah. yeah. Uh, what how happens? Many hours? What, what, what? How many? Hmm? How many people on that? Because you said thing. it might it might go down to four. You said no, no, that's that. that's on the screen yep. at a time. Actually, the new Skype will handle twenty five people at a time. Oh, okay. What happens if two people are yelling at each other? Does both pictures come up, or uh... I would say whoever is saying the most predominant thing at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean, it, it happens here. I, I'm getting it here only in, in this version of uh, in, in OBS on the Mac. Okay. Uh, uh, OBS on the Mac, on the uh, PC, it doesn't say screen capture. I can't get the screen capture thing. The, the, uh, the uh, you know, the, the little picture that comes up with like you in it right now because you're talking. And if Jeff starts talking, all of a sudden it becomes Jeff. And if it's yes. Patrick, you know. So. I have a MacBook Pro, so I have to go to those geniuses. I, I hate that. It's in the mall, and I hate going there, and you have to make an appointment. But I'm going to get them to hook it up, so at least I can use Skype on that thing. Because I'm always PC. I'm not MacBook, so. Well, Mac, I mean, it's simple. You know, it's simple. You, don't, you don't have to go Just down download to the, the program. You don't speak geniuses? You know, download, yeah, I, download I like the program it. and sign in. I, I, you know, I I, I, like, I, I like Big Bang Theory because they always used to say, hey, what should we do tonight? Why don't we go down and uh, make fun of the geniuses at the Genius Bar? <laughs> <laughs> you know. The thing I always hated about the Genius Bar, folks, was that, uh, you know, Einstein was a genius. And how dare you deign to just minimize what a genius is by saying that some nerd with your t-shirt standing behind a counter is a genius does that mean at best buy when you get the geek squad that's uh you know yeah, they're not genius you better they're... make sure they got a pair of glasses with tape you and know? a pocket protector and a pocket you gotta get trump he's a smart genius isn't he yeah what is he? yeah absolutely yeah but I mean, you know, they, they make as uh, opposed to a dumb genius. That dumb. This ass. whole thing with the fucking genius bar. I hate that. Yeah. Uh, they don't serve stable anything. Genius. Stable genius. And it's not a bar. Yeah. It's not a bar. You're not when you're sitting yeah. there waiting for them because you've made an appointment at three thirty, and now it looks it's coming on three forty-five, and you've yet to be served. It'd be nice if they gave you a martini. You yeah, know, juice, juice would be uh, or okay. juice, <laughs> juice. It's a juice bar, coffee bar. <laughs> John John wants a joint. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, what what the fuck? You know, I mean, uh, but I I uh, uh, so anyway, that's it's my problem. You know, I mean, the, the Skype is, is are such assholes. You know, they don't ask. They don't ask the public what do you need. You know, here's the difference. Uh, if I had a PC here, and I had Windows XP in it. It Forget would it. still work. It would still work. Okay. It wouldn't. Uh, some programs I couldn't run on it, and things like that, because it, it isn't the newest, uh, finest uh, uh, the format. But it would still work. All right. They don't support it. No, they, they'll right. tell you. You know. Right. You I got, understand that. I understand that. But it will yeah. still work. Yeah. I could have a Mac here that has Windows XP in it, and I could turn it on, and it would. 
it would work. It's just it wouldn't have all the features of the newest Windows, okay? On the other hand, I can go back. To, uh, win, uh, uh, Mac often obsoletes older machines, but I still Not have. Too often. I, I mean, still have. Seven, well, eight, well the, my my current Mac uh, uh, Pro Pro that I have here, the, the old Pro version. Mm -hmm. uh, that Mac, this Mac, uh, they are not going to allow to use the new operating system. However, the mini Macs that I have will use the operating system, but it will still be able to work. Okay, yeah. and I have another a Mac in the other room that's even older than that that won't upgrade beyond uh, Snow Leopard. But the right. fact is, I turn it on and I can use it. So right. what is so wrong with Skype saying, well, you know, after this time, we're not going to be updating it. We're not going to be changing it. We're not going to be doing anything to it. Uh, but you can use it if you want is to. Is that a Microsoft kind of mentality? Yes. Yes. I was just going to say that it's an arrogant company. Uh, you know, BitTorrent, everybody uses BitTorrent. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, uh, even Netflix uses BitTorrent software. I, I was on a beta testing program for uh, BitTorrent, they were uh, giving out this free software to video broadcasters, you know, online video broadcasters to test out. And they ended up not using the product, but they solicited our feedback and that sort of thing. But you never see Microsoft do that with, with the, uh, the the broadcast professionals like you and I. Uh, you, ever, you ever try to get a you hold? Know, you never. Ever, you ever try to get a hold of Skype? Yeah, right. <laughs> Right. There's no way to get a hold yeah. of Skype. Well, you got to drive to Seattle and you know uh, take your clothes off and pound on their that, door. Or something. Yeah, but you're you're assuming you can find out their their address. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, it's like I've never seen a company in my life, and a lot of these companies are getting this way, where you have no access to them. Yeah, that's right. You know, like Look it would what be that nice. gal had to do at Burlingame uh, yeah, to, right. to YouTube. Right. You know, yeah. she had to go for lunch with a gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any way I can. I, there isn't a phone number, uh, customer support number for I'm, YouTube. I'm sure they have uh, one. They just don't give it to us. What did you say, uh, Charlene? Who's back with us? But we don't have a picture on you. She's got on the phone. Well, you know what's She's going on? on? I, I said I hate that when they don't have a number for customer. My son has got a studio like Rob Alfano now. It's got like the screen in front of the mic. What's that called? Spit screen or? Oh, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and now, what do I do with him pulling all my bandwidth? I went in there and started yelling at him, and he said, "I'm not talking about Wi-Fi. I'm not." And I said, "I'm not talking about Wi-Fi either." I said, "You're using all my bandwidth." So, I, I, can I get like a, another router or something? Or? Well, it c depends upon how much bandwidth you're getting to begin with. If you if you had I'm what I have, which is it. which is almost a meg up and a meg down, Charlene, I can I have to, I, I can have twenty them. I can have twenty people here watching Netflix and it won't stall. I know how to stop your son from using all your bandwidth. Tell him to get a job. <laughs> oh boy, he's telling me he's working on the computer that you work. Yeah, on. yeah, you, you you work your foot up his ass. <laughs> you I know. know. <laughs> They what? had this kid on uh, CNN. Everybody was telling me that I know. That's your son. Five years the parents tried to get the kid out. Did anybody see that? Yep. Five years. And finally the judge said that, that he had to go. Is I that the 30-year-old kid? Yeah. That was the 30-year-old kid that they tried to evict out of their house. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. And, and the judge finally, after five years, the judge said the kid has to go. And he had to go. Mm -hmm. And then I think they said he tried to uh, do Best Buy. Because they try to make him work overtime, and it was wasting his time or something like that. Or the kid was horrible, and but they sent him money on PayPal or GoFundMe or something or GoFundMe. They started oh. a page for him. People really? felt it, sorry for him. Is he yeah. changing his name to Ted Kaczynski? <laughs> <laughs> right, he's a bomber. Yeah. What a mess! I don't know what to do with this kid, but I mean, you know, I I'm a little techie in a way. I mean, not that you know, but I. I try to keep up with everything, and with him here, it's terribly swim slamming me now that he's telling turn, me I'm talking about Wi-Fi. Turn the internet off. Turn 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 the internet off for thirty days. Yeah, you know? we'll pay yeah. the bill. Yeah, and then I, and, 
Right, and then I can't use it myself, right? Uh, just use the phone for a little while. Well, yeah, you know, you know right. uh, cool. most. I'm sure you don't know how to do it, but you could actually block his ID. Oh yeah, you could you could uh, have a sign in that he doesn't know, right. so uh, he can't get on. Yeah, that's right. You know, when I used to try to steal my neighbor's you know, you know, internet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know what? They, do you know what she's going to have to live with if she does that? <laughs> well, it's, it's even know, withdrawal her sy- son, syndrome. Her, in this day and age, her son will a never talk to her again, or b kill her. Postal, Postal. Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh yeah, you'll kill me. You're right. No, just tell him you don't. You don't know why he can't get on. You know? Hey, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What were you going to say, Jeff? Jeff, what were you trying to say? I said, do you have any guns in your house? Yeah, you lock them up. No, no, we don't believe in that. <laughs> Oh God! Like, um, wasn't there like some shooting in Canada now or something? Like, nah, you don't have any. Well, that was a, that was a couple of days ago. Mm. Uh, yeah. Still, well, they, still, their today. shootings per I capita are up. lower than ours. So you know, they'll they'll, they'll catch up. They're a resourceful people. Still, still no <laughs> offense. I know you know, but I mean, he doesn't look good. You know. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Trump. Who's who's who's? What? Some somebody just called. Who is this? Oh. Hey, Alex, long time. Haven't spoken with you. I hope it's not too noisy. I'm on a kind of a busy street. This is this, this Steve. Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm good. There's been a lot of things happening. I've been laying low. I've been, it's, I've been through a lot in this past year. I can't believe how many people um, are, are gone. That this died last year was a bad, bad year. I can't believe it. You know, I moved back. To New Jersey, as, as you know, yeah, and uh, you know, I figured, well, it's really good, and I'm happy to be home. I, I love it. I love being home. But you know, my friends, you know, it, 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 it was almost like I was on a tour of duty. That's like I was in Vietnam, or I was somewhere, you know, with those five and a half years, whatever, in New Mexico. Mm-hmm. In a way, I'm glad I had them because. Uh, time to, yeah, well, wait, 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 wait. You know, hold, hold on a second, Steve. You know, we do have yeah. a group of people here. Uh, yeah, go ahead. They yeah. don't know who the fuck you are. And, oh, okay. and, and it's like Steve. you're just talking to me what like you, you called me up on the phone yeah. and, and everybody else is being left out of this. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's so most, most of the people, I think, remember. Yeah, he's just trying to explain his absence. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. His absence yeah. is about That's three years, okay? So, you know, most of yeah. the people here, how many here remember Steve? I remember him. Are you, I know. Are you, are you really? Which you Steve? all do? Steve? I'm, 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 I'm a very memorable. <laughs> no, I, I know Phil does. Cause, well, I, I called Jack the other night. I had a good time on, on a Friday night um, on now, Jack's At least show. he'll call, Alex. Now, He's Steve, you, you had a lot of maladies, right? You know, uh, a lot of health issues? Yeah, well, you know, nothing really serious but i had i still have a, an inflamed um <laughs> leg you know i had the surgery so I does had Alex. A, <laughs> yeah yeah i heard yeah yeah you know, i had a you know he cares um, a multiple compound fracture of my leg i'm gonna get off this gigi road so it'll be more fine i'm trying to talk right into the phone um yeah so you know that I'm still recovering. I mean, that's, at least it's not infected. I almost lost my leg, you now, know. You're not driving, Steve, are you? No, I can't. No, I'm not. My vision, I'm not. It's, it's like 20 over 300. I've got 25, 30% eyesight. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I might remember you. I might remember him. You know something? Yeah, well, well, I, doing this show, uh, as a veteran hypochondriac, doing this show <laughs> makes me feel a lot better. You know, uh, because, you know, I mean, Steve, your microphone's got a lot of wind noise. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to block it. I'm trying, no, I feel like not, I'm doing it. Uh, it's not working. Yeah, whatever you're doing, okay, it's not well. working. Uh, but anyway, um, so, uh, so anyway, you were saying a bunch of people died last year. Yeah, now, you know, um, I think Jack said that you knew that the, you know, uh, Randy, the producer from ABC, Randy died. Yes, of course I knew he died. Okay, yeah, I didn't see, because I wasn't listening for a long time either. I just kind of took a a break, 
for a while. Yeah, I kind of who, needed who, else who else died? Who else died? Who else died that I wouldn't know? Yeah, I, I knew I'd get back. Yeah, Randy died. My sister died last year. We well, I, I didn't know your contested. sister, okay? I didn't know her either. No, 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 so you Steve. didn't know her. Yeah, no, no, I didn't mention my sister, really, you know, but she died. She was only 61. She had a heart problem, you know, and um, that's one of the reasons I'm glad I, I spent the time that I did out in New Mexico because I got to... I knew she wasn't going to live, she knew she wasn't going to live, for two, but we figured she'd live another five, six, seven years. And when my brother called and said, you know, call, you know, that, that she died, I, it took me two days before I even, I, I couldn't even believe it. I couldn't even believe that, that it happened. I couldn't believe it. And I had an identical twin brother in August. It's going to be 19 years. It was a suicide. Identical twin. My mother died eight years ago. My father died 41 years ago. I was only 11 years old. My All that's left now are my brother and I, and his wife wants a divorce. <laughs> you know, it, it's just, it's crazy. I Excuse mean, me, I'm going to go get know, a gun and shoot myself, okay? <laughs> I was thinking the same no. thing. <laughs> really, I mean, you know, my, my brother and I are the ones who You're had, depressing the shit it, out of me, Steve. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll, I'll stop in a, I'll, I'll stop in a I'm second. Sorry. I just, I just. <laughs> no, wait, wait! Don't stop until oh, he puts the gun in his in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No, it's it just. I'll, I'll just finish the, all that nonsense with just saying that it's funny that my brother, obviously, who's still alive, and I are the ones that, over the years, have had all the health problems, yeah. and we're the ones who are still here. Okay, we've been joined you know? by being joined by Bree from Dubai, or maybe he's still in the Philippines. Oh, I remember Bree. Yeah, where, where are really you? Like where are you tonight, Bree? I am. I don't know if you can see the sign right now. No, wait a minute. I don't. We're not getting any. We're not getting any video. To, you know, you um, Bree talked about nope. Bree talked about the cat club the other day. The other night, like, well, a few nights ago, I used to go to the cat club in Manhattan, right? The cat club? Oh, yeah, I loved it. Nina Club. Yeah. Do you know to, uh, oh, Cat yeah, Club? Uh, uh, what was the place? Uh, uh, Do you know the Tommy CBG? Oh, there we go. Now we can uh, see where you are. Turn your camera sideways, would you? Let's see if we can get a, a wide picture. Yeah. There yeah. we I go. That's I don't know if it goes sideways. No, look, it just did. Yeah. Yeah, right. look. What Trump is the power. side? What Gramercy you, Trump City? Tower? <laughs> I think you'd like that, Alex. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they have a Trump Tower in the Philippines? Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't have my uh, I don't have my headset. I forgot to bring it out. I only have a Bluetooth thing and I don't think Bluetooth connects to the to the Skype. Yes, we can so, yeah. uh, can you hear can you hear us? Can you hear us? Maybe it does. Can you, I can hear you. And, and, we, can, uh, and we can hear I've you. I've got to get inside and get to a Wi-Fi and sit down and get a coffee. Well, I mean, I don't drink coffee, so tea. But, you know, it's just the expression, right? So what city uh, is this? So, it's Manila. Well, I'm, I'm in uh, Makati. But, oh, uh, it's where my uh, it's, girlfriend's from. Right. But Well, actually, I'm on the northern end, and I can't even pronounce the place, but it's near Makati. And we're just oh. seeing the side of his mouth. That's... Uh, we have you in a very big uh, close-up. I mean, yeah. you're... Uh, yeah. Uh, Sorry. There you go, see? Okay. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, now, right. oh, there we go. He's showing us the street. Oh, there Sorry, I, I thought you turned the video around. But, uh, you know, I'm on this dumpy old Russian phone, right? Yeah. So, and I'm trying to figure out where to go, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm Patrick. Putin. Patrick? <laughs> I believe it on Putin. I yeah. wait, wait, wait. Okay. On Hold on a second. Yeah. Let Patrick talk because he, he gets muffled. Uh, two or three minutes there. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, if you could go indoors, Bree, it would be really good because that would. Uh, you, what you're doing is because of the noise outside, you're muffling. Other people when they talk. Yeah, even your signal, Alex, is getting muffled. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. So, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I can, I can mute my microphone if you 
need. Okay, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, yeah, that's a good it's, idea. Let me do the same thing. Yeah, I, I forgot. Okay. Yes, is oh, that a please, coffee Steve, bar? Please mute, Steve. Right yes. there? What? <laughs> is that, a, is that uh, the uh, version of Starbucks in the Philippines? I don't know. But no, there's a, uh, there was like a sabaret or something. What are you, what are you saying, Bree? Uh, he muted because of the. Oh. Uh, the well, yeah, thing, but he can hear us. I don't know. He's, He's still on mute. He's still on mute. There we go. What was um? What was the lady's name? I always liked um. That uh, was also she was lived in uh, Renee. Does Renee still call? Yeah, yeah, no. she calls. Occasionally. Oh yeah, I always like to talk. Upon occasion, we haven't heard from her in a couple of weeks. And is she on? The, is she doing the the chat room? No, uh, she. We haven't heard from her in a couple of weeks. I don't know. I'm, I, when I don't hear from her for a couple of weeks, I worry about her. I worry about anybody if I don't hear from them for a couple of weeks. Except me. Yeah. <laughs> Except you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, That's okay. I'll worry about you now. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I worry about you. I want you to. Uh, I want you to get that the heart thing done before the heart does you. <laughs> August 16th. Matter of fact, when I was uh, doing the photography thing with John, yeah. like he said, I climbed up this 20-foot ladder, and I'm uh, uh, photographing over the ring on this uh, one-foot square platform, and I, I said to myself, God, I hope I don't have a heart attack and fall into the ring. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. That would be. Yeah. Just make out your will and leave me something, okay? <laughs> just... hey, Alex, is my, is my uh, video working? Yeah, your video's working <laughs> fine, Bree. Yeah. It's a great picture, actually. Is that a, a clothing store? And uh, let's see what else a you shoe got store. there. Uh, so is that a, a mall? It looks like it looks like some store. Oh, Pandora's right? phony jewelry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> jewelry. <laughs> Uh, let's, jewelry. Let's see here. What else do we see? For those Come of you on. listening to us on the ra the audio only version, uh, right. well, don't you wish you could look at the video? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, okay. So, yeah. so yesterday I go to this place uh, called the filling station, and it's like all 1950s USA. And yeah. I ordered blueberry pancakes. They're the worst. They're they were cold, flat, syrupy blueberries. Couldn't eat them at all. Yeah. Uh, way overpriced, Starbucks. you know, for here, they're like, eight, yeah, eight, eight dollars. So, so I asked the concierge, today, I said, you know, I need real pancakes. They said, there's an IHOP in here. So I'm looking for the IHOP. Okay. Uh, but let me tell you this, showing this picture, if you told me you were in Cleveland, we'd believe you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's you know, nothing, is, there's nothing there too. that says. I'm inside. And like down below, so I shouldn't be getting a signal at all. There, there's but nothing, I am. There's nothing there that says Philippines to me. You know? Uh, what, what, is that hollow hollow in the uh, cabinet? Hey. Yeah, that's a uh, Philippines. No, those sir. are, what are these? These are tr truffles? <laughs> Praline. They're different kinds. There's, oh, you have amaretto. Is that a truffle? Praline? Yeah. Looks like a truffle. <laughs> hey, you should tell this girl she's on international television. Oh, yeah, big deal. Yeah. <laughs> It'll scare her. <laughs> All 50 people yeah. that are watching. I, it. I really mm -hmm. wish I had brought my uh, my headsets, you know, because I'd be able to talk to you better. Yeah. Hey, I, you got to watch start. out, man. Uh, they just arrested a U Uber guy who was videotaping everything in his, uh, his car and live streaming it. Yeah, but they're still trying to figure out if there was anything illegal about him doing it. Uh, yeah, it has to do with whatever state you're in, whether you need permission from both or just one. Yeah, well, well, you mean state of mind? Or? Most states. No, most, no, most states, uh, uh, if, states. If I record you. Is that in the Philippines? If, yeah. I, if I record you, I don't have to tell you that I'm recording you. And all I have to do is give Apple. my permission for me because it only takes one party. Right. To me. Uh, but Did I think. In Wisconsin, where Patrick's from, I don't know I, if it takes two parties there if you haven't announced it to, to both. Uh, you think I can hook up my Bluetooth? Uh, yeah, yeah sure. Uh, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah sure. You I just had trouble you know, getting Bluetooth to work with my when I have Skype. Well, that know? could be the problem. You, you know? got to get a Russian Bluetooth for that phone. <laughs> 
Yeah. I should I should have brought my headset. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. By the way, did you hear, of course, that Ivanka Trump is ending her fashion line? Yes, I did because she wants to concentrate on doing the the job in the White House. Yeah, I think that's yeah, very she's noble. Yeah, she's an advisor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to begin, she's an advisor. Uh, to begin Finally with, to begin with, it could be line. that most of the people who were carrying her products have canceled. That's why she's. That's why she's getting out of it because she ain't making any money doing yeah, it. Yeah, all the all the stores that were carrying her stuff, most of them, most of the big ones, uh, mm -hmm. like Nordstroms and so on, have said they're not going to carry her Maybe line anymore. Her, I think. That that that's wrong. You know, I I think that that's wrong. What do you mean that's wrong? You know, if, that's, if that's discrimination. If her stuff doesn't sell, it's not wrong, and that's been well, the problem. Well, it's not. With it. You know, it's not selling no, because the problem is people it, are discriminating against her because they disagree with her father. That's capitalism, baby. That's capitalism, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> motherfucker. Get used to it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know, yeah, I mean, if, if, it, 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 seems as though, it. it seems as well, though, it, the, by the way, turn your camera no sideways patterns. again, uh, Brie. I have to remind people to do this I, because portrait mode drives me crazy. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I'm trying to uh, keep working, Alex. You know, that's, that's funny because I use um, portrait mode all the time. I do like widescreen, but the thing I like about with portrait mode is it's more the shape of a phone, like if you would hold it, you know, the ear piece. Yes, just, but, like it doesn't, kind of, but it doesn't look like a good picture, okay? No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like the it way doesn't. you see naturally. I, I once had a blind I, I guy come into the store. If I, get this, if I get the Bluetooth working, yeah. I will show you the Philippines. Yeah, why are you sideways, though? <laughs> he's laying down. He's, on his he's, head. he's moving his phone around. Yeah. Who was it? As somebody recently made a comment somewhere and said that people should be killed for using portrait mode. <laughs> I probably <laughs> said that. Alex Bennett. What? Alex Bennett. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think they, that when they make iPhones, you should not be able to get it out of uh, you know, widescreen. Yes, yes. You know, I'm right. frozen now. I don't know if you can hear me or see me. I can, no, we see, can hear you. We see, I see you. We can see you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you. I mean, you know, we're, we're I, I like those curtains on the side. You know, completely screwed up. <laughs> we're getting. I hate it. I hate it, especially when there's a police action and someone is using the portrait mode on their damn phone and they're missing all this important action on the uh, left well, and the right. I gotta tell you, yeah, but you get the even, curtains. Even, the curtains even, are even, pretty even, <laughs> even in a panoramic mode, there's always something could be taking place outside the periphery of the picture. Exactly. So that the, the, uh, the scene that's being shot is prejudiced by the camera person, okay? Right. But if you've got portrait mode, then you forget it. You know, you're, you're not going to see anything. You're yeah, you can't see why the cop beat the hell out of the black guy. You right, know, I mean, right. you know. <laughs> right. Yeah, when, when I'm watching, uh, if I'm watching a video on my phone, I'll, I'll, then I'll, I'll put it in wide, you know. But it, a lot of times, especially with YouTube, I listen to a lot of music on YouTube, and you don't have to, I should really use YouTube Red. But, I, you know, then I'll leave it in portrait because I really don't have to look at it. See, when these portrait guys die and go to hell, their punishment is going to be right. having to watch all these beautiful films in portrait mode. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I want them to go to the next, uh, oh, I know, Avengers film or the next Marvel movie and have them show it to them in portrait mode and see how long they like that. Like that. <laughs> you, you know, when... When TV started to use, uh, uh, what is it called, letterbox, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it took me a while to get used to it because then you couldn't see anything above and below. All you saw was a wide <laughs> It was years ago when What's TVs, that? you know, were regular yeah. <laughs> I think, and square. I, I think uh, Brie is now frozen. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it took me, Phil, it, it took me a while to get used to it also. I didn't wasn't sure if I liked it at first, but then once I understood well, the letterboxing, I'll tell you what bothered me in the beginning. This is back in the, 80s, in the be beginning you know, when, when they yeah, first when they yeah. first in the fifties and uh, end of the fifties when they started buying up films that had yeah. been made during that period of time. Oh, they cut them. Wait yeah. a minute, hold on a second. 
They yeah. they would show them a cinemascope picture, letterboxed with the top and the bottom missing. And everybody thought, yep. well, there was something yep. wrong with their TV set. I mean, this is the only way they could do it. Today, there's no problem. You can't hear anything. Alex, uh, 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 Steve's um, uh, wind is overtaking your... Yeah. Uh, let me mute it again. Let me yeah. mute it again. Yeah. Uh, 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 they, 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 it, the movies were letterboxed. The but, but they were letterboxed. And then everybody thought there was something wrong with their TV set because it was the only way they could do it with the sets in those days because you had no widescreen sets. And so all of a sudden the movie companies decided they would do pan and scan. Now that drove me fucking crazy. What's pan mm -hmm. and scan? I didn't like, believe it or not, I, I hated pan and skin. That, that drove me nuts. Well, too. I, I hated, thought that was so horrible. Yeah, I hated. I hated. It was shrunk. Uh, 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 Bertolucci, uh, not Bertolucci, uh, Sergio Leone films. I hated them because I didn't like the way they looked. You know, I didn't like the way it was the Italian Western and blah, blah, blah. Then all of a sudden, they released. Um, uh, what was it? Which one? Was, Once upon a time in the West, in the West, and they released it, where the first scene in that picture, the first ten minutes or so, it's a lead up to the picture, is widescreen, and all of a sudden I got to see Leone's uh, framing, and his, the way he shot, and I was just, I was just in awe of it, and then all of a sudden when it gets to the main part of the movie, it goes pan and scan. Mm. And I didn't watch the movie beyond that point. When they finally started releasing Leone films in widescreen, I loved, I found out what a great director he was. But when they were panning and scanning his films, they looked terrible. But Leone had a way of framing a picture, you know, where there are two guys on either end of the screen ready to shoot each other. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, where in a pan and scan version, uh, they were going back and forth between the two. Yeah, yeah the so one of the movies. Sergio... What what what, what, you, what what were you saying, Charlene? Was that Sergio Leone? Yeah, Sergio Leone. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and Patrick has his hand. Not up. spaghetti, not spaghetti western. Though, spaghetti right? westerns. Yeah, that's what they call them. Oh, he is a spaghetti western. Yeah, okay. yeah. except for once. Yeah, upon they were made, they were made in Italy. Yeah, yeah except for once in upon Spain. a time. In, except for Once Upon a Time in America, which wasn't a Western, which is, I think, is the greatest film he ever made and the last one he ever made. Uh, yes, Patrick. Yeah, my, my folks are still stuck in the hate, hate, version. Wait, what? Wait, wait, back. Hold on a second. It, it's not Patrick. Something, somebody else is doing something. Uh, yes, Patrick. Anyway, um, where some of the uh, Blu-rays and that, they still have the option where you can change the screen size. My phone, they'll get rid of it so that it'll be almost like a, the damn TV that we used to watch Square. where it wasn't one screen. You miss half the shit. Yeah, and, I, and I've explained to them that you're not missing anything. You know, and it's it just the way that they think. So, yeah. Um, I, I know very few people like that, but I'm lucky to have the parents that if they come over here to watch a movie, I got to switch it to some goofy ass way and miss half the damn thing. <laughs> yeah. They'll be able to say, well, now it's filling the screen. Yeah, but you're missing. Yeah, but yeah. the only thing that's yeah. the only thing that's worse than pan and scan, for my money, okay, is okay. Por is portrait mode, okay. So, anyway, uh, we, you're you're whirling around now, Bree. Yeah, the picture you'll probably pop in any minute. Uh, this is what you get with a Russian phone for crying out loud. By the way, yeah, anybody, anybody, right. anybody, Soviet surplus. Anybody see the latest Soviet spy? This woman, the redhead. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, she was not as hot as that other one a few years back. I'm trying to remember her name now. They knew it. Oh, the, yeah. the remember that one? Uh, she, not anymore. She 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 was hot. Yeah. Let's see here. Where are we getting all that honking from? I guess it's from. A Manila. From Trump Tower. Huh? 
Tony. Are, are you in Trump Tower, Bree? Or yes. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes. Was was, wow. was that but, where uh, was that where Alex, you were? for shame for shame? Was was that where you? Alex, what? you wanted to see. Did did uh, let me know if the camera switches off me. Yeah. And goes outside. I, you said you wanted to see the real Philippines, real Manila. Ah, uh, there. Yeah. Okay. Can okay. you see that? Uh, yes. Yes. Now. yes. Okay. All right. So now I will walk to the real place. It's like you were saying that you thought well, well, it, so there was nothing that made it look like we, I was in the Philippines. Right, right now, it still looks like Cleveland. <laughs> looks like New York City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I'm leaving. I'm leaving Trump Tower now. Uh, yeah. Okay. You see the gates. You see the. Oh, by the, the way, guards, turn, turn your camera. Would you do me a favor, uh, uh, Bree? Before you leave, turn your camera around and just show us Trump Tower from a distance. Um. That's it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Now, does, did he, is he? Is he staying there? He's staying there, or just visiting? No, no, no. He's no. in New Jersey. He's in New Jersey, that, and it might not. He may not have even built that place. He may have just paid. The oh. people may have paid to put his name on there. But they like his name in the Philippines. Okay. Do they really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Duarte likes him. They all like him there. Duterte. Yeah, well, if I mispronounce his name, he'll kill me. Yeah, now, now, now we're getting into what will look like real Manila. Oh, yeah. Or San Francisco. Oh, okay, all right. There we go. There we go. Now were they okay, Alex? Were they now, Alex? I have to be careful here, Alex. You sure I can't go portrait? Holding it landscape is kind of putting me in a little bit of danger. Well, then go portrait, damn it! I don't want you killed. Okay, all <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I need to hold it like a regular phone, or people get nervous and and they might uh -huh. try to take. You know, yeah. there, is a, there is a show on Netflix, which I haven't watched yet, which I'm planning on watching, called uh, Dangerous Tourism. And it's really? all about these, this guy who likes to take vacations to dangerous places. I think Manila might be on his oh. map and, and just go to Manila <laughs> and, and shoot the whole thing uh, panoramic. You know? Could be. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. All right, so now I'm, I'm sort of in a mid zone and in a moment I'll be in the low zone and then I'll, I'll be going back to the high zone yeah well it looks like it's on like 360 it's definitely not uh, uh, high definition right? well, you know earlier Scott was talking about that extra picture we get from Skype <laughs> his extra picture is is it really is not is kind of panned and scanned in a way it's wide it's not wide yeah. but it's it's yeah it is yeah Wow. Wow, everybody. Looks like New York City. Sounds yeah. like New York City. <laughs> well, we, and we finally got sun. You know, it's taken a couple of weeks, but we finally got the sun here. So well, why did you go but, to fucking uh, Man if Why did you go to Manila? Why did you go to the Philippines? Geez, I, okay, I, I've told you a million times. Uh, it's very cheap. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks like it's very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Only if you well, walk around with the phone you know, sideways. I, I mean, as you're sitting there, lying in a pool right. of blood, grasping uh, your phone in your hand in panoramic uh, mode, uh, <laughs> and, and you're gurgling, you're, you're breathing your last, you can gurgle out the words, but it was cheap. <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> no, I mean, it would... It, for, uh, there's so many, there's so many things that we wouldn't have time. You have ten minutes. Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you all the things. But as a general rule of thumb, the Philippines is kind of like it reminds me of when I was growing up in the '70s in the U.S. Yeah. People are kind of happier. They're more helpful. When you talk to someone, they don't assume that you're negative or going to do something bad. They assume that you're a nice person, and and it's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. You have, you don't have rules for everything here. Like, can't do this, can't do that. Don't say this, don't say that. It's, it's a more open society. Everyone smiles, and I swear to you, ninety nine point nine percent of the people I meet are happy. Like just all the time. It's it's really how about, how about those guys? So who you, were, you might see the about those guys who are passed out on the street. You think they're happy? I think they're happy. 
Okay. Now, their circumstance is not happy. But I guarantee you, if you, if I woke them up, well, first, they wouldn't be able to speak very, you know, English very well. Yeah, even though English is sort of... Oh, here you go. This is for you, Alex. What? Oh, the Kismet. The Kismet. Cafe. Cafe. Mm. <laughs> and they have free Wi-Fi. But that's the thing. Like, you'll be in kind of an area. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, there'll be something like that, you know? Yeah. Now, over there, yeah, there's the only and now, ladies' and now, bar oh, in the city. Wait a minute. And they have midget wrestling. Yeah. Down the street, a woman is walking with an umbrella. Now, it's not raining, right? That's what they do to take care of the sun. A parasol. It's a, a right. parasol. They're keeping, right. They're keeping themselves out of Oh, the yeah. Parasol. Boy, people still use those? Wow. Well, I'll tell you. I I'll tell you. I, I think using a, in this heat, uh, especially like where Scott is, if he used an umbrella, at least it would shade him. You know, how hot is it? I think been? it was yeah. 114 yeah. degrees today in, uh, in in Arizona. In Arizona, but how 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 116. How hot 116? was it today uh, in your neck of the woods, Scott? It was actually a cold front came through. It only got to be 97. Oh, good, good. Yeah, it was nice. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! That's, that's a good sound. Hey, I, 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 when, in a second, I want to uh, change to something. I have a question for Alex. Yeah. Uh, should I do it now? I yeah, guess? sure. Uh, uh, why don't you mute yourself there, uh, Bob's Bree. big boy. Yeah, I, I just did. Yeah. Uh, no, Bree. Is that a Bob's big boy? Bree, why don't Bree? Why don't you? Uh, uh, yeah. oh! Well, like somebody got killed. That, yeah, that's not my noise. Br Bree, Bree, why don't you mute yourself, okay? Okay. Anyway, Steve, what did you want to ask me? Okay. Well, I haven't listened since since the uh, another guest, but Alex, when you were working at uh, WPLJ, and those, did you spend any time, any uh, significant or any interesting time ever with Dan Ingram? No. No, I didn't think so. No, I wasn't. He was the afternoon. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. No, I was. I, 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 I wasn't there when Dan Ingram uh, worked at WMCA. Uh, no, no, at at, uh, at WABC. Though. ABC in the afternoon. I never. Doing, I, you know. I never worked at WABC. You PLG. No, was but you, you were at the FM. FM. They were. Yeah, they were on the other. They were on oh, the lower oh, floor. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, ne I never met yeah. up with Ingram, and I don't know if he was working there at the time I was at PLJ. I think he had left by then. Yeah. No, Ingram was. Uh, you know, he was. He was at PLJ. You know, from seventy three to seventy eight. Ingram was at the AM all those years. So. And uh, yeah, Ingram was. He was Sabi, right? He just passed away not recently, but. Yeah, yeah about a month ago. Not maybe. Yeah, yeah. He was I, like I was surprised at his. I was surprised at his I death because I didn't even know he was still alive. Right. Yeah. I and and, and and you know and you know what got him was uh, he didn't have Parkinson's. He had a Parkinson's type that he had polio. Uh, here we go. I'm going to go get my gun again. What? Yeah. He had Parkinson's. What? He had a Parkinson's like. Disease, yeah, like the polio, and he. What happened with Dan is, um, he he um, was in a nursing home in Florida, I think, and he he was eating a steak as he choked his muscles. He couldn't swallow the steak, and that's what actually killed him. This, this conversation is what's going to kill me. <laughs> no, it wasn't the it wasn't the fat, but it was it was he he choked. I, I had a neighbor who had Down syndrome. The same thing happened to him at a nursing home, but he was only like fifty. He lived long for Down syndrome. How like good is a nursing home? Yeah, is that how, true? How good? How, wait a minute. How how good can That's a nurse? Like Mama Cass dying. How how how? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. How how good can a nursing home be if people die in the nursing home? They always die yeah. in the nursing no, home. No, but I mean, Somebody you know, I mean, it up or something, yeah. you would think that a nursing home would be working overtime to make sure people don't die or mm. choke and raise on a, the rent or choke on a ham sandwich or whatever, you know, <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you what's nursing. I'll tell you a group. I don't want to, you know, de defame, any, but I'll tell you, I was in uh, for uh, 
uh, rehab after my surgeries. I was in a Care One facility, and uh, a friend of mine nicknamed it and said, "It's not. It's not Care One. It's Care None." And I'll tell you, they're they're good. They're you know they're aesthetically they're very the facilities are beautiful and the staff is nice, but they're inept. They don't. The well, nurses, let's they, let's they, not let's not talk about this, Steve, because uh, okay, they could right. they have lawyers, okay? okay? And and uh, yep. Gabnet got doesn't it, have it. lawyers, and Gabnet doesn't want to mm. pay for lawyers. Okay, un- understood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeff, you haven't said any much tonight. How are you, Jeff? How how's I'm the, doing great? How's the health going? When are you going to When are you going to uh, Where is it? Uh, Italy. 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 In uh, next month. Uh, yeah. About fifteenth. About the fifteenth. And, and I'm taking the whole family. So you're going at the great. same time that Phil is getting his heart operation. Right? I know. I know. Yeah. On the sixteenth. So uh, they're uh, sticking me with uh, uh, cameras and dye and uh, stents. Is that D-Y-E? What? Is that D-Y-E dye? Uh, <laughs> no, no. D- <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, dye. good. D-Y-E. Oh, good. Sorry, right. Because I don't want it to be D-I-E. No, no. I was talking to somebody about that. What do we got? We got Manila is the noisiest fucking city in the world. Hey, it's, uh, Bree, it's, uh, Bree, traffic Bree, 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 mute, Bree. I gotta hang up on. Him. I can't. Remember, I'm on a Russian phone. Oh. When you say like mute and do this, you act like I'm. On a $10,000. Yeah, but we, 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 all we could hear, all we could hear was an amazing amount of, of Manila noise. Hey, Bree, are the instructions on that phone in Russian? You know, so like the buttons, are they, uh, are they Russian letters? And... Yeah. Yet. Really? <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yet. Yeah. 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 Da. Da. Okay. Well, uh, uh, let me say Nostravia. Yeah, Gorbachev. Yeah. <sighs> uh, it's so frustrating. You have no idea how frustrating it is uh-huh. to use this phone. You, don't, you, get, you want to know something? something? You just, you, you're doing that's it. That's an e-ink display, so it's really, in that sense, I like it. Be, yeah. It can do a lot of things that a regular phone can't do. This thing does everything, including recognize me. <laughs> See? Does it say hello? <laughs> really, it, 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 it absolutely... Where did that girl go? It never uh, fails to recognize me. Um, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can yeah. still hear you. <laughs> uh, now, now you're frozen. Now you're not. Breaking break. Oh God! I hope he's okay in that traffic. So when are you getting back to? Uh, can, can, getting hit can, by a bus. can you hear me? Uh, okay, buddy. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm really trying, but the screen is just frozen, and and now it's blank, and I can't really do anything. Yeah, well, forget about doing anything. When are you going back to uh, to Dubai? Ah, uh, well, I will be going to Malaysia, as I told you, I'll be going to Malaysia first. They've, I don't know why they've delayed this now like three times, but they can't get the whole committee together. So uh, so I'll be going to Malaysia August 1st, yeah. and then back to Dubai August 4th, and then uh, over to New York on August uh, hey, 7th. When you do that, give me a call, and let's, uh, okay. let's have a bite to eat. Uh, just email me at alex at gabnet.net and i'll give you a phone number okay. and uh you know we'll 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 have okay, some lunch together will. yeah absolutely so, so this guy what'd you say yeah yeah okay okay Good. let me try to get through use my yeah all Can we're you show we're, us the street uh, Bree, yeah, yeah. a little more. Yeah, uh, go panoramic. Are you seeing me? Are you seeing me or the? We see. We're seeing, we're seeing, we're seeing you. you. We're, uh, ah, probably, sorry. 
probably your throat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Alex. What? What, Steve? Alex. Now have are you? you uh, no, we see the street now. I haven't checked uh, like okay. the updated, most recent. But have you added by any chance anything else to the life in the passing lane no. since like sixty seven? No, okay, I didn't think no, so. No, yeah. no. Okay. Uh, no, because nothing's happened much in my life since right. I ended it. Right. You know, it used to be yeah. that I had enough interesting things happening in my life that I could say, "Okay, we'll do another chapter." But I have nothing else. You know. Uh, oh boy! Hey, turn down the noise, Bree. Well, no, 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 he's freezing. Boy, it's noisy there, Bree. Yeah, you might need to hey, mute Bree. Hey, it's uh, Bree. Uh, we're, we're getting. Kind of the, annoying. We're getting. Yes, we're getting yes. to the end of the show. So why don't I say goodbye to you since the noise is. And you're breaking up on us and everything else, okay? Uh, yeah. And I'll see you in New York. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you hung up on him. Now you're going to have to pay for lunch. Oh, well, well, also, we lost <laughs> we lost Scott Boddicker. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but hopefully we'll get him back uh, before the show's over. But it's almost over anyway, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting show we did here tonight. You know, I kind of, kind of like it. So, uh, Alex, do you uh, ever go sailing? Do I ever go sailing? You uh, went sailing with me on the bay. Did I? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll go sailing if somebody's got a boat and say, it says, do you want to go sailing? Yeah. Yeah, we've got, uh, my wife has one. Has a boat? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we were uh, we were on my friend's uh, thirty-four foot yawl, and uh, you know, out in the bay. Yeah. Okay. It was out there today in uh, Long Island Sound. Yeah. yeah really? Is she and she has her own little boat. Her and her girlfriend. And how big a boat is it? Um, a big boat. Twenty-eight feet. That's pretty good nice. size. Yeah, that's nice. Sailboat or motor? Sail or power? It's sail, but I mean, it has a little power. Well, of course. Yeah. Most, most, Just to get you. Most sailboats so, have power as a backup. Uh, well, yeah. just to get out through the river. The channel. On, on there. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah. It certainly. And we're right off, uh, right off the train. Yeah, this has been a uh, an interesting night. Uh, we have Steve; uh, he's in New Jersey, and we have Charlene; she's in New Jersey. Uh, we have uh, uh, John Perulis, who's in New Jersey. We have Jeff, who's in <laughs> never, New Jersey. Never. We have oh, a, my grave, Phil Myers who's in New Jersey. Do you know, Patrick. I can't. I can't go to New Jersey. Why? In, in 1972, I was driving from New York to Miami, mm -hmm. and I got pulled over on the Jersey State per Turnpike doing uh, 85 in a 75, I think, or a 70. And uh, so I said to the cop, what happens if I don't pay this ticket? He says, you better not come back to New Jersey. So I never did. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so. Charlene, uh, Charlene, I for, I've forgotten. It's, I know I, I heard you on you know before, but where in New Jersey are you? And this is Central Jersey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh, what I thought. That... Well, you know, okay, I, I'll yeah, tell you, yeah. I'm sorry the show has to end right now because we're getting to a point here where we'll find out about everything about New Jersey we ever wanted to know. And and unfortunately, we don't, we, we don't have time yeah, that's, for that. That's that. Yeah, I know. So I know somebody who goes to Red. So yeah, and, that's like New yeah. Well, yeah. Steve, thank you so much for calling tonight and depressing the shit out of me. Uh, yeah, I know. I do that too often. That's one of the reasons I didn't want to call for a while. Because <laughs> so many things are. But I'm all right. I'm, you know, I made it through, and you know, everything. I'm better off for it. You know, I learned a lot, and if everything, I've learned a lot, and I. I'm just glad that I'm here, and I'm glad we're here, and it's just, I'm very grateful that I have what I have. I have problems, but so much, so does everybody. That's right. And uh, John Perulis, thank you. Glad to have you back. Please call more often, yeah. will you please? 
Thank you. Jeff, always nice to have you here. Uh, Steve, good talking to you. Charlene, wonderful to have you here. Of course, the lovely and attractive Patrick, uh, who, uh, uh, who uh, Blazik, and, uh, and, and of course, Phil Meyer. Uh, why don't you all, uh, like, wave goodbye at the camera, except the people who are on the phone. They can't do that. And thank you to Scott, too, and thanks to Bree. And we'll see you all, uh, hopefully, tomorrow. Uh, that's it uh, for our fine program. Let me get rid of all these people on the citizen panel. And let me relinquish the uh, Skype phone line so the next show can use it. Uh, uh, and, uh, yeah, we, we, we use Skype for as long as we can. Anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, Jack Bishop is next with a program called The Intersection. That will be followed very closely at 1 o'clock in the morning Eastern Daylight Time by Connections coming out of Florida. And then tomorrow night at uh, 8.30, it's our sports show, The Arena with Franchise MC, followed by um, uh, Damien, who will be back uh, at 9.30. I'll be here again Tomorrow night, 10 p.m., same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody. Bye.